You know, I, I noticed with a lot of the younger DC artists, they real into like the new, I guess, DC drill, beef rap, dissing, telling on themselves. Like, I noticed, especially y'all neighborhood, y'all stay away from it. I ain't you never really heard nobody. That. You won't see that from me. You won't see no Dang. vlog on the internet about my beats. Hell no, I'm all, I got too much shit going on. I got, I'm a real person, real yeah. nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell no, niggas that do that, they don't really got shit going on. Or they don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't throwing my life away, I got a career, you know what I'm saying? I'm not putting y'all in my yeah. real life street business, you know what I'm saying? Then y'all making these the Chicago war stories and <laughs> shit on me. Y'all got me fucked up, yeah. man. Put my business out there. Yeah, yeah that um Grim was telling me about that in my other interview, they made him delete his page. Yeah. I think it's called the, I found it, it's called the lunch table DC or something. I couldn't yeah. uh, he was talking about all the different yeah. issues, but now I think you, they deleted you know, they would have noticed if you weren't bo people, you know these they volunteering it. Like yeah. they want the people to know this shit. Yeah. I got beef. Of course. They ain't gonna yeah. know this shit. They ain't gonna know who the fuck is with. They ain't, I ain't we ain't about to be going. I'm not gonna mention them in my music. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I make what, the type of music I make. But saying a nigga name, saying a nigga block, saying a nigga nah, yeah, fuck yeah, they nah, did. Nah, nah. I will go uh, here and there maybe. But <laughs> I ain't here and there. might say that fuck a nigga dead, homie. But I ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about to be broadcasting too. It's not, you're not about to like build your brand off yeah, of it. Yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. hell no. Yeah. So fuck up shows and shit. Nah, hell yeah, yeah. That, that, that's true. Ain't it's nobody gonna wanna book you. Yeah, you can't do that. 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 You can 30, 30, 30, Chicago, a big city, but uh -huh. all that dissing, you know, police ain't gonna be for it. Even if nobody gonna slide, it's just the insurance gonna be high, it's just too much of a risk. It ain't. Uh -huh. uh, they can't move like that. Right. Uh, something else I know is about you, you got a real um, unique flow. Like, you still, it's still the DMV flow, but it's like your My own. own yeah, 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 like your shit more on beat, more like, yeah, you got like more you know, swag to it. Let you know I'm from here, yeah, it still got a DMV flow to it, but it ain't an off beat, like you said, and I'm on groove with, like, I don't know, I got groovy trap music. I feel like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. God. Yeah, I got groovy trap music, shit that's gonna make you want that, but I'm talking that shit, I'm talking street shit that yeah. niggas can relate to. You know what I'm saying? That come from the environment I come from. Yeah, because that's what I noticed. Like, y'all always kind of had the groovy street music coming from the quarters with, like, the Trust Me, the Fan, and, like, uh, BHA, Border Boys. Like, all these shit was kind of kind of had that nice little bounce to it, but it was still on some on some trap shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, if there was one thing you could change about, like, the DMV music scene, what would it be? Or if there's anything you would want to change about it? Uh, I mean... I don't know, I feel like niggas, like ETI Detroit, all them niggas, like they put their beats to the side. I mean, the the main rappers, like, yeah, 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 yeah. the city gonna be a city, shit still gonna go on. Oh, yeah, but of course. They got like a team east side, all them niggas from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peasy, motherfucking Babyface Ray, Vezo, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the niggas, you know what I'm saying? All them niggas creating, they show that you can stick together as a city. Yeah. Payroll, Giovanni, all them, like, they, they do features with each other yeah, and show, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so, when the city finally went up together, literally every last one of the They all came with it, yeah. Because it's it it like Detroit just had a crazy, they kicked the door down. The next thing you know, you heard about six Detroit rappers in six months. Wow. Like, well, yeah, everybody not fucking with each other. Don't get me wrong. It's like two sides, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Either these, it's these group of rappers doing features with each other. Yeah. It's these group of rappers with us. Everybody can just swap features and you ain't got to yeah. with a nigga every day, just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Try to help each other get to the next level, though, so everybody can eat for the after they fans. Yeah. And, shit. and I feel like that's something, that's you and Ants kind of set a good example with that, even though I know, like, y'all y'all neighborhoods ain't beefing or nothing, but y'all still kind of came so, together. Yeah, yeah, Southeast neighborhood, I'm from uptown, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Show that you can yeah, come together get and money together. Exactly. Y'all you know? use each other's resources. I'm sure you probably be throwing him plays when on the music shit. He probably be throwing you plays on the yeah, music yeah, shit. Yeah, so. told me a lot of shit. Like, yeah. he told me a lot of little shit. I had to get some money out of it instead of just rapping for fun. For sure, for sure, man. Um, something else I wanted to ask you about was DMV Hoods and News. I know he used to be at Tyler House a lot. Um, <laughs> you, you got a relationship with DMV Hoods and News at all? I fuck with Hoods and News. That's, that's my guy. I fuck yeah. with Hoods. He used to work up Tyler House uh, yeah. security and shit. I was younger, I was probably like 14, probably though. Yeah. 14, because he was working that bit. He stopped working that little minute ago. But that's my guy. Yeah. He helped me really get like my 
he helped me. He was a part of helping me get my platform together. Like when I came home, I wouldn't drop a video unless I was, you know, what I'm saying, sending it to us and we was paid what he wanted. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, paid a couple of different platforms to really help me build it in the city. For sure, for sure, man.